Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to do a glint effect in After Effects. So to get started we're going to open up After Effects and here you can see the effect that we're going to be creating today. Basically a little glint or a shine that goes across your text. So that's what we're going to be creating. And to get started we're going to go up to Composition, then New Composition. We're going to make it 1280 by 720 with 6 seconds and a background color of black and click OK. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a little background. So we're going to go up to Layer, New, Solid, and we, can, we are going to make it 1280 by 720 or comp size. And then we're going to make the color black and click OK. So now we have our little background for our effect. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to take and on the main viewing window here, I'm going to change this uh, percent to 33% so that we can see everything. And I'm going to go up and grab my text tool. And you don't have to add this glint effect to text. I'm going to today, but you can add it to any of op any of the objects that are in your video. Um, basically, you can add it to anything, but just so that you guys know, it's not limited to text only. So I'm just going to type out glint, and I'm going to take and position that towards the middle. And I'm going to click on the layer, go to Control D to make a copy of it. You can also go to uh, Edit Duplicate, and it'll duplicate the layer. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is create the white bar that you saw going across the text. So in order to do this, we're going to need to make another solid by going to Layer, New, Solid. This time we're going to make it comp size again and, this, uh, and make the color white. Click OK. And so now we're just going to grab one of these um, side points here and drag this in so that we make a smaller rectangle. And we're just going to bring it up here grab our rotation tool or you can hit W for the shortcut on that and then just grab a corner point and rotate it probably about 45 degrees or so might be different for your project but uh, I'm using about 45 so now you can see that we're going to be able to bring this across our text nicely um, but it's a little bit sharp right now as you can tell from the other preview um, it was nice and soft and it looked like it actually might be shining across the text. This looks really sharp. So what we're going to do in order to make that softer is add a blur to it. So we're going to go over to our Effects and Presets panel. And if you don't have that, you can go to Window, Effects and Presets. And yours will look like this. And we're looking for a fast blur. So we're going to type into the search bar fast. And you can come down to fast blur and drag that out onto the layer. Not onto the stage, make sure you're dragging onto the layer so you're sure that it goes on the right thing. And what we're going to do is just take the blurriness level here and just take and drag it up quite a bit. I'm going to put it uh, up probably around almost 800 here. So that looks about right. Um, depending again on the size of what you're adding this to, that value will change for your project. So now you can see that we have a pretty good uh, effect going on here. But we're kind of missing the um, I don't know, the hotness in the center of our uh our shine so we're going to basically take this layer make sure you click on the layer and you're off of the effect otherwise it'll duplicate that and we're going to click on the layer go to control D or edit duplicate to make a copy of that and what we're going to do is just basically size this down into the middle and so now you can see that the middle looks a lot hotter so we're having a nice um, gradient almost like it's a uh, rounded shape and we're going to take and turn up the blurriness on that to kind of um, fade it in so that it's not as sharp kind of smooth out the edges on that middle. So now you can see that we have a nice hot uh, center to our shine. So it'll give it a lot nicer of an effect. It'll make it look a lot more shiny as it goes across there. So now this is what we have as our final uh, glint effect. So what we need to do now is basically take both of these layers. So you need to select both of them, click on one and then click on the other and hold shift. Um, when you click on the other one and then we're going to go up to layer and then down to pre-compose which is off screen but it's at the very bottom and it'll bring up a little box and what we're going to type is just something that you can name it that will help you remember so I'm going to call it white glint alright and click OK and so now basically what we've done is taken both of those uh, white solids and put them into one layer. So we've taken two layers and made them into one. It's basically, if you've used Photoshop, it basically takes and makes it into a groove almost. Um, that's the easiest way to kind of understand it. So if you double click into that, you still have both of your layers. You can still edit them and it'll update that original uh, file right here, this original pre comp. So um, what we're going to do now is basically take and you can see that our glint goes all the way across uh, everything. 
it's in the black, it's in the text, it's in everything. We want it to just be on the text. So the way that we're going to do this is basically by masking it, and instead of taking and using the pen tool, which uh, would take forever and masking out each letter, um, what we're going to do is use an alpha mat. So we're going to take our white glint layer, and we're going to drag it in between both of our text layers. And the reason that we need the bottom text layer is so that um, this is the one that's actually going to show up, and then the next one is just being used in order to mask out the bottom one. So for um, our white glint layer, we're going to go to the track mat, and you might actually be seeing it like this. Um, if you are, you need to click this little button here at the bottom, and it'll move it over so you can see the track mat. And we're basically going to change the track mat on this from none in order to, um, or and put it onto alpha mat glint 2. Alright, so now that we have that done, basically what it's done is it masks it out to that top glint layer. You can see that it has it right here, and it's basically using that as like a clipping mask, if you are familiar with Photoshop, um, to the white glint. So now you can see that if we take the glint and we can just move that around, you can see that it goes right behind the text there or right over the text there and it's not showing anywhere else. So now it's only a matter of taking and animating that in order to make the effect work. So again we're just going to take and move this off of our text so that um, this is the beginning and we're just going to make sure that we're on the white glint layer. Hit P to bring up the position at key framing and we're going to stay at the front of our uh, document here. Make sure you're on zero seconds. Click the little stopwatch on position and it'll take and put a keyframe out there. And so basically we're going to go out um, about probably about a half of a second. So here's one second and we're going to go about half of that. And we're going to take and just drag and move this all the way across. You can either add in a value if you know it or you can just take and drag until it's all the way across. And you can see now that we have it animating all the way across our text like that. So now um, we can actually take, and I'm just going to drag in this little end point for our preview here and we can take and preview our file and you can see that it moves across there. So if we want to view it full screen, this is a little tip here, um, you can click on any of these panels and view them at like full um, resolution by basically click on the panel, hit the little tilde key which is right next to your one key and it will open up the panel in the whole uh, After Effects interface and then you can basically up the percentage that you're viewing it at and hit spacebar and you're able to view your effect full screen. So this is the effect. Um, that's pretty much the tutorial. Um, I've definitely seen this used uh, quite a bit in video. Um, I actually saw it used recently in a Mystery Guitar Man video. He used it in a Mystery Guitar Boy. Uh, I know Corridor Digital did the effects for that, and they used it on the glasses. And it was a more advanced tutorial uh, than this one, and they had some optical flares and stuff. But the basis of it was this effect. So it's definitely being used. You can definitely use it in your projects, and it looks pretty cool uh, when it's used right. So I hope you guys learned something in today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll have a new video tutorial for you next week.